Yeah, 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 you think so? Alright, so. So, this is where you want to film your video? 23. Welcome back. Welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can tell, we're not in the gym. We are with one with nature. We are one with nature. <laughs> yeah, man. Ready? Yep. Alright. 2023. First video. No. Second video. Good chat. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy DC. I'm back with another video. As you can tell, we're out with One with Nature today. We're not in. We're not in the gym today. We're not in the gym today. We're outside, trying to really take it all in. 2022 was a good year, but 2023 has to be a better year. So, what is it that we're doing today? Today, I'm going to really talk about five things that I feel like, as a beginner you need to get in check before you start going to the gym or even if you're already at the gym already going to the gym these are five things you can recheck and make sure you're getting the best out of everything you're doing i'm your boy dc and welcome to another video Number one, I think it's important for you to just not overthink and just do it. Just sign up today, sign up to a gym, sign up right now and just start doing it. You might be worried that, oh yeah, when I get to the gym, I might not know what to do. That's part of the journey. When I started, I had no idea. When I started, I had no idea about lifting. I had no idea about uh, nutrition. I was all over the place. But now, five years deep, I can tell you, even now, I don't know everything. I'm still learning. So it's all part of the process. Just sign up. You start learning as you go. The most important thing, you're already doing it now. So who cares? Even if you're doing it wrong, when you go to the gym, there's always people that can help you. Research. Watch my YouTube videos. And you will learn. So just sign up today. Don't overthink about it. Don't overthink it and just do it. Number two, it's important for you to know your workout plan. Some people do push, pull legs. I did, I was different. I always went different. I never really followed the crowd. I did legs and chest together, shoulders and back on the second day together, arms on their own on the third day. I come back to legs and chest and I do shoulders and back again on that last day. So that was five days and I did all muscle groups twice a week. That worked for me because it was really good for growth. For some people, they find it easier to start with push-pull legs. So on the push, you're going to be doing more of the chest and the shoulders. On the pull, you're going to be doing more of the back and the biceps. And then on the legs, well, you know, you're going to do legs. <laughs> but so what? find out what works for you. Find out what's easiest for you to do or what you feel like you can get done more in the week. So some people will just do push-pull legs. That means they only train three times of the week. I train five times of the week. So it's what worked for me. And with my schedule, it worked perfectly fine. So right now, start researching and seeing what works for you. Just because John and Nathan, they do push-pull legs, doesn't mean you have to do push-pull legs. Find out what works for you. There's so many other training programs that, that could work perfectly for you. So that, like I said in the first point, it's all about researching. So it's always worth the research. Number three, clothing is another important thing. When you look right, and you look good, you always feel good. It's important, especially in the gym. We all know boys, we all want to look good. Especially when you have to have that pump. If you don't have the right vest that day, or you don't have the right shirt that day, you will just feel like, ah, what's the point? 
But when you have the right clothing for the right day, I promise you, you will feel good and you will have more motivation to come back the next day. When that pump is hitting, I promise you, you feel good. So it's important for you to invest into some nice clothes. And I'm not saying you need to buy Nike, Under Armour, all these big brands. No, as you can see, I've never worn any named or any, none of, the, none of those brands, I don't wear them. That's not because I don't like them, but I just find that it's not worth me investing that much money into clothes that I wear to go sweat at the gym anyway. So Primark might be a good start. Any, you could buy my, almost my clothes unbranded, no branded clothes. So that's all I'm gonna say. And footwear is also important. I've seen man them wear Crocs in the gym and the training legs and all that. That's, no, no. Get the right shoes for the right, for the right job. Even if it means you're training your socks. But that's also a hazard because you could drop a dumbbell on your feet. The gym, they normally don't want you to do that because it's a risk of insurance for them. So I'd say just get the right shoes, man. Just be normal. Number four, this is the most important part. This is training and everything else is like 20%. But this point, number four, is nutrition. That's 80% in my opinion. If your nutrition is not right, nothing will ever work out for you. Nutrition is important because your body needs fuel. It's almost like your car needs fuel to drive. If you don't have the right fuel in the car, you, you're not going anywhere. The engine just seizes, it, it won't move. But if you put petrol in a petrol car, that car, it will move. So what some of you are gonna probably be starting to do now they started to research on what works best for you. Like me, I'm vegan. I went vegan in the first year of me starting to train, but I just didn't go vegan straight away. I'd, come, I'd started one day, then I went to two days, then I went to three days, then now, now seven days. But it took time and research and seeing my own body, how it responds to me going vegan. Now, I love it. But I just didn't I just didn't follow the crowd and start saying, oh yeah, it's a trend to be a vegan. Because it wasn't a trend back then. Now it might be, but it wasn't a trend back then. So make sure you get the right nutrition for you. Get what works for you. However, like I said, it's 80%. It's 80% of whatever you're trying to do right now. In the gym, outside the gym. Because if you think about it, you're only in the gym for maybe one or two hours. But outside the gym. 22 hours so if you get all that around 80 percent i promise you yeah you get you make gains number five why why do you want to start training why do you think it's a good thing for you to start going to the gym why do you think it's a very good investment for you to invest five ten hours of your week to train you have to know why if you know the why the consistency and the dedication is easy. However, if you're following a trend and trying to be cool, <laughs> I promise you, March time, you won't even be going to the gym. It won't even make sense. But if it makes sense for you, it will always make sense for you to wake up in the morning, eat right, and make sure you train every day. It doesn't have to be every day that you have to train, but I'm just saying, when you know the why, it's easier for you to follow it. Don't follow the crowd. I've always said it. Don't follow the crowd. Just do what works for you. Even if it means one week you train one day, another week you train two days, eventually with consistency, you will start training three, four days because you start seeing the pro progress. And when the progress starts coming in, you become more hungry and you start training even more often. But that's, that's what I think anyway. So, like I said, the two most important things, nutrition, and the dedication and consistency. Without those two, it will never make sense. If your nutrition is not okay, because if, for example, even if you have your, your nutrition in check, and if you're not consistent with it, then you're not doing anything. However, if your nutrition is in check and you're consistent with it, and you have the dedication to actually stick to it, then you have your answers, my friend. But yeah, this is, <laughs> this is what I think. This is not, what everyone else thinks but this is what i think are the most five important things as a beginner or even someone that's already started going to the gym 
that you need. On the side note, there are other things that you also have to get in check outside the gym that are also as important as everything else that I've mentioned. And that thing is sleep. Make sure you get the right sleep. If you're, if you, you grow when you're sleeping. So if you're not sleeping right, if you're not getting enough hours in, then my friend, you're playing yourself. So make sure you get the right sleeping, eight hours a day, preferably. If you can't, six hours maybe but eight hours is what's recommended. And yeah, other than that, I feel like I've mentioned everything that I wanted to tell you guys. But yeah, make sure you give the video a like, comment down below what other videos you wanna see. And I hope everyone has a good 2023 and it all starts today. Here's what I'm gonna leave you with. Be the thermostat of the room, not the thermometer. The thermometer, wherever it goes, it changes to that temperature. But the thermostat, I can change my temperature from 1 degree to 25 degrees. If that day I want to be 13 degrees, I'll be 13 degrees. But thermometer, it always changes with the room. Don't follow the crowd. See you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh my God, bro. That's harder than it looks, bro. That's harder than it looks.